This method really does help. Let's go back to a previous problem that we looked at involving a tank. You remember that? It's got some yogurt in it. Then we add some strawberry stuff. It all gets blended up, drained out. Yeah, that one. The specifics are worth recalling. 1,000 gallon tank, 90% full of yogurt, add strawberries at this rate, blend it up, drain it out at that rate. From this setup, we had a couple of variables, V, the volume, S, the amount of strawberry stuff, and C, the concentration of the strawberry stuff in the smoothie. Now recall, we did some work to arrive at a differential equation for S, namely ds dt is 10 minus S over 180 plus T. Now take a look at that. This is really an affine ODE. We couldn't solve it through separation and integration, but we can solve it using an integrating factor, where that integrating factor, recall, is e to the integral of minus lambda. The solution, s, is given as 1 over the integrating factor times the integral of i times c. Looking carefully at that affine ODE, we can identify the lambda, the function in front of the s term that is negative 1 over 180 plus t. The c term, in this case, really is a constant. It is precisely 10. Now the tricky part in this method is being able to compute the integrating factor, but in this case it's not so bad. We're exponentiating the integral of quantity 180 plus t to the negative 1 power. That integral is going to give us a log. We're exponentiating a log of 180 plus t. That gives us exactly 180 plus t. Thankfully, this was not so bad. And it's not going to be so bad to do this integration. We can solve for s as 1 over the integrating factor, 180 plus t, times the integral of c, that's 10, times quantity 180 plus t, dt. That gives us for a final answer over 180 plus t, that numerator, that integral being, let's see, 10 times 180, that's 1800 t, and then 10 times t, integrate that, that's 10 t squared over 2, or 5 t squared. Aha, plus c. <laughs> ah, this time we did not forget the constant. But what is it? What is that constant? Oh, we have to go back to the particulars of this problem. We start off with no strawberry stuff in the tank. That means that at t equals 0, s is equal to 0. That means that this constant, capital C, vanishes. And now, we're nearly done. We have our solution s as being 1800t plus 5t squared divided by 180 plus t. But what is it we're solving for again? Oh, that's right. We want the concentration, c. In order to get that, we need to divide by the volume, v. Remember what that is. We started off at 900 gallons of yogurt. We add in strawberry puree at a rate of 10 gallons per minute and drain out the stirred mixture at the rate of 5 gallons per minute. That means that our volume V is really 900 plus 5T. Now we need to know the concentration C when the tank is completely full. That is, when V is equal to 1000. That happens exactly at the 20 minute mark when T equals 20. So, to solve for the concentration in general, we get C equals S over V, that is in the numerator, 1800T plus 5T squared. In the denominator, we have quantity 180 plus T times quantity 900 plus 5T. Now that's great. We now know what the concentration is as a function of T. But what the problem is really asking for is the concentration when the tank is full. That is, when t equals 20. Well, I'll leave it to you to do the arithmetic to see that when you plug in t equals 20, the numerator evaluates to 38,000. The denominator to 200,000. And there's a lot of cancellation and simplification that goes on there to give a final answer of 19 divided by 100. That is 19%. So, 
When the tank is full, we have a 19% strawberry smoothie. Thanks, in this case, to an integrating factor.